In the following video, we are going to talk about importing Adobe Illustrator files into Microsoft Expression Blend 3. It is very important to have the ability to import Adobe Illustrator files for the following reasons. Once you actually get into the production of a Silverlight project, most likely you'll be working on a team. It is very possible that you may actually not be doing the graphics and that you may have a full-time designer or an agency that you're working with who would provide the graphics. It is then your job to take these graphics and use them within the project. To begin, we'll go to File, New Item. We'll create a user control. We'll name it Ringer. A new XAML file has been created. Now we'll go to File, Import Adobe Illustrator. Select the Illustrator file. Looks like we've successfully brought in our Adobe Illustrator file. And if we go to the XAML view, everything has been created for you. You do not have to modify the XAML code at all. A nice tip that I found when importing Adobe Illustrator is to select the user control and to resize it to approximately the size of the graphic. Let's go to main page XAML. So now that we're back in our main page XAML, we'll open up the assets panel. Select ringer. And place it on the stage. One interesting thing to find out is that we have this warning sign that told me I would have to go to project rebuild project it looks like we have a fully transparent vector based graphic from Adobe Illustrator that we can now use within blend to fully make sure that we this is what we want and we have full control over it Let's double click this control. Let's zoom in. Let's select the volume. And let's change the color. So this shows me that I can then, I should be able to go back to the main page. And because we made a change over there, we would have to rebuild. But it looks like it's working exactly the way we want. Microsoft has done a really good job of preserving exactly what we've done in Adobe Illustrator and bring it into into Microsoft Blend. This concludes this video on importing Adobe Illustrator into Microsoft Blend 3. I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.